Hello again, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Woodpecker's Deep Dive. Today, we're gonna to take a closer look at the handy little squares with the funny name, the Delve Squares. Let's get started. The Delve Squares are tools that I always have right by my hand when I'm ready to go to work. And we do have three of these. There's the original and two stainless steel models. Now the original design was a collaboration between our president, Rich Hummel, and Tom Del Vecchio, a cabinet maker that's been a longtime customer, and he helped Rich design the original Delve Square. Then a few years later, we came out with the stainless steel versions to add a few new features. Let's start by taking a look at the features that are the same in all three models. Now what makes a Delve Square a Delve Square is this feature right here. You'll notice that the blade of the square in all three sizes is not in the middle of the base. It's offset. This side is 3 eighths of an inch. This side is a quarter inch. Uh, on the one piece uh, aluminum model, this side is the quarter inch and 3 eighths. And on the big one, quarter inch, 3 eighths. Now what does that offset do for you? So let's start by taking a look at the quarter inch side. Now that quarter inch shoulder uh, is very valuable if you're working with three quarter inch stock and you want to lay out even thirds, which is just what you want for mortise and tenon work. So if I want to lay out a tenon or a mortise on here, I'm going to put that quarter inch side up and then mark it. Now we'll bring the other side around and mark that and I have even thirds. Now the other side gives us a perfect center mark on our three quarter inch stock. So we'll bring the 3 8 shoulder onto the stock and that locates the pencil right on the center line. Now it sounds really simple and it is most of the time, but that's only if your material is exactly three quarters of an inch. Three eighths is the center of three quarter, but if it's a little over, a little under, how are you gonna find the exact center? It's pretty simple. All we have to do is come from both sides. And we'll put our mark on, put our second mark on, and they don't overlap. These two marks are right next to each other. So we know the center of that wide pencil line is the perfect center. Now what's really cool about this is it doesn't only work when the material is exactly three-quarter. I have one here that's just a little oversized. So we're going to make one mark from this side and we'll make a second mark from this side. And you can see that there's just a little bit of space between it. But right between those two marks is exactly the center of the board. And here's one that's a little undersized. These are going to overlap. When I turn it over now, you can see that I'm well on the other side of the mark. And the center between those two is the exact center of my board. Another feature of the Delve Squares are scribing guides. On eighth inch centers, along one edge, just drop a mechanical pencil straight up and down and scribe a perfect line parallel to your edge at whatever dimension that you want in eighth of an inch increments. Now another feature of the big version of the Delve Square are the cutouts give you standard measurements. Uh, right here, this is one inch from here to here and from here to here. So if I need two lines an inch apart, there they are. If I need those two lines at 45 degrees to each other, there they are. Now, that's one inch. This is three quarter here and here, here and here. And this is a half inch here and here, here and here. Now the little stainless has the exact same thing, but each one of the cutouts is a half an inch. 
So now let's flip the board over and we'll take a look at how the protractor works. When we put the square on, the angles are reading on this scale right here. On the stainless steel models, those are in one degree increments. And on the aluminum one, it's in five degree increments. If I want to set a 10 degree angle, we're just going to slide this out until the 10 lines up with the edge of my stock. And there's our 10 degree angle. Now I want to show you a little trick for making repeated angle cuts and making sure that they're all the same without spending a lot of time lining up. These little guys here are called stair gauges and you can find them at any home center. Uh, they're made for framing squares, but they work with the delve square very well. So let's say that we want this at a 40 degree angle. I'm gonna put my stair gauge on there and tighten it down, okay? So there's 40 degrees, 40 degrees, 40 degrees, as many times as I need it on as many different boards as I need it on. Now another feature that we built into the new stainless steel squares are step blocks in the base. Uh, we can see right here where it says there's a quarter inch step. Now uh, let's say that I'm on my drill press and I want to leave a quarter of inch material underneath my hole. I just take that, slide that up until it just kisses that quarter inch step and set my stop. How about I need three eighths instead of a quarter? Well, I just turn it around and there's the three eighths of an inch step. And if I need a half inch, it's right there. And those setup blocks are great at your table saw to set the depth of cut and also at the router table. Hey folks, thanks so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed our talk about the uh, Woodpecker's Delve Squares. If you're interested in adding one of these to your shop, there's a link down below in the description that'll take you right to the ordering page. Before you go though, I would like to ask you to hit the subscription button and the notification bell. That way you'll know about every one of our videos right when they come out. And if you liked what you saw today, be sure and give us a thumbs up. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time on Deep Dive.